Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and here I am featuring another Halloween card using um, the Design Series paper that is out of the Tool and Trouble uh, suite. Now, let me just show you real quick how it looks. It has some of the gauze, some stars, but what is really great is a lot of these images can be cut with the uh, coordinating frame lids. And, but you can see here it has some bats. This one can be cut with the punch. Then there's these amazing pumpkins that I think could be also really nice for like Thanksgiving, wouldn't you think? And then this one is one of my favorite because there's a lot of hats here that you can cut. And of course, the little witches that I show here are also one of my favorites. Now, I just took one afternoon and kind of cut or hand cut a lot of them. You can see here, this one can be cut with the, um, frame lids. You can see the cat, courtroom, the witch, um, and I believe there's also one for a hat. Let me just show you. Um, this is this one and of course there is a coordinating stamp set and frame list. And, and when you get them together you save 10%. You can see it here, the bundle prices. You can also get them separately, but what would you want to do that when you can get them together? Um, and like I said, this is a design series paper and I just love, love, love all the projects with this one. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, so, I'm just focusing on the design series paper because I just fall in love with it and I think that it looks amazing. Um, let me just show you two other projects that I've done. You can see it here. And how about this one? This is out of the, um, those, t t um, take take out box that is in the holiday catalog and wouldn't you think it's amazing i think it is so anyway so a lot of the projects that i'm doing is with the science series paper because i just fell in love with it and i just want to give it a try so this is no exception so here we go this is uh, mango Mel melody and this one is five and a half by eight and a half and as usual we're gonna fold it in half using our bone folder <coughs> Then I have a piece of basic black and as usual one of my tricks is that punch out anything you need so this is from another card another uh, punch out that I'm another card that I'm, where I'm gonna be using that cat so I always cut it from my uh, card bases that are gonna be covered because again no one will ever see or know that there is a hole there and this one is four by five and one quarter you can see it here Four by five and a quarter. Then I had already die cut out of that take um, take away box framelits to start, and this one is in crushed curry. Then I have pumpkin pie, and this one is in um, this one is three and three quarters by three and one quarter. I have whisper white here, and this one is um, three and a half by three. As always, you're gonna have a half of a uh, quarter of an inch, and this one will go here. And you know what? I actually want more bats, so let me just punch out another bat. So here's another one of those. So like I said, you just use your use your base because you're gonna be covering. Well, you know what? No, I probably cannot do it because this one only covers this section. I might not get enough. Let me see. Can I cover it? No, so I won't risk it. I'm just gonna leave it like so. Um, but usually you could, but not in this case because I'm only covering this section, so I don't wanna risk it where I have a hole. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. But anyway, um, so these layers will go like so. Then I have um, fussy cut. These pumpkins, are they no? just amazing i just love them now here's one tip sometimes the pumpkins on your design series paper that you can see here it kind of cuts here right well i tried to use them like if it has a lot of a lot of its shape where you could still see it's a pumpkin and then i put it like so i feel like it looks really nice that way so i love using those as well so this one i'm actually going to be putting like that then i also hand cut or fussy cut one of these little um hats i think like it's really cool and then i have two bats out of that punch that i showed you a minute ago so now one thing that i'm going to be doing here is i want to put the 
trick or treat and um from the itty bitty messages or greetings yeah so this one itty bitty greetings and i want to use this trick or treat so um i have it here and i'm going to be using um memento which is right here and i'm going to be putting it here okay so once that i have it here i'm going to be using my uh punch and um here we go and we're going to be cutting it here i just want to center it now you know me i love having it the other way so i'm just going to go ahead and put it like so and voila i just need to cut a little piece here and there we go because i want it like that okay so um break quick can you see so let's just put this cart together so now this one i know it's gonna be flat because i have that edge so i'm gonna go ahead and put it like so okay now I can go ahead and then put this one together. And then I have these two. This one will be with dimensionals as well as that one. So we're going to go ahead and put those race with dimensionals. So let's just uh, so let's just put this one with dimensionals. And then this one will go like so. I might need to put a little bit of snow on this. Oh, sorry. And there we go. Now, let's just put these two before I follow this one. I want to put these two. And this one is one inch. It's one inch. Um, it's a strip that is one inch, as you can see. And this one is three inches. Now, it doesn't matter, as usual with me, uh, the length, because you're going to be cutting it. But this time I'm going to be using this punch. I almost never use it, you know me. Okay. I'm going to be doing the same on this side. And I use it, I don't, I always forget to use it, but I really like it a lot. So here we go. Now for this one though, I feel like, let me just put this one down first so I know how I win it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Okay, now this one will go like so. And then I want this one to be here. So I'm gonna cut this one in half, and this is what I say. It doesn't really matter how you want it because it's gonna go like so see that and this is where i feel like the star will go there and had this trick-or-treat although i feel like it might look nicer if i put it here so these two together will go like so and i have this then go down yes 
Yes. All right, so this stew, um, let's just rank this for a second because here's where we're gonna be doing this. So for this ones, I'm gonna be using the Wink of Estella, which is right here. And we're gonna put Wink of Estella on the whole thing. That way it has a shimmery look and I don't know. I feel like shimmery is better for Halloween. <laughs> is that crazy? Do you like shimmery things for Halloween? I think it has to have some shimmery, don't you think? Paul, as you know me, I love Wink of Estella. I love it. So. Alrighty. Here we go. Anytime you feel like it's running dry, you just push a little bit and you get more. There we go. And I'll show you in a second how it looks, but I think it looks uh, fantastic. You can see it here. You see that? I mean, it's just amazing, amazing what Wink of Estella do. See that? Wow. Okay, so now let's um, finish this card. So I'm going to be using a glue dot, of course, for this. So we're going to be putting a glue dot here. Adding it right there. Okay, and this one will go here. So now that I know where I want this, I'm going to be putting these here. There we go. And now I can glue the whole thing. Alright, I also want to put a little hat on this one, do you think? It looks kind of cool. They have something like that, yes. And so, for this one I feel like I need to have a dimensional here. Okay. And I mentioned them right there at the top. And one more right there. And the one there might be a little one on this section. And maybe another little one on this section. There we go. All right, and so we're gonna put it like so. And then this one, of course, will have a dimensional on these and two little ones there. So let's just take up those. And then this one, of course, will have a oh, I think one should go here. <clears throat> um, or maybe. 
maybe here or maybe there let me see I think one should go here and the other one should go here yes there we go okay so we're gonna be putting mini dimensionals on the wings because I don't want them to show up And the same thing with this one. We're gonna put many dimensionals on the wings. There we go. And here it is. Would that not look really cool? I love it when I said uh, when I said that the Design Series paper makes these cars super quick and easy, really nice. And it's just putting some elements and I don't know, I just love it. So anyway, um don't forget about my ordering incentive. Like I always said, you get a card kit in the mail to do uh four cards and um You'll get everything, embellishments, paper, everything that I use, except the stamping. But you can always substitute this with whatever you have at hand. Also, uh, if your order is $50 or more, you also get the accessory of the month, which could be rhinestones or um, ribbon or some of the embellishments. So something. Um, every, every month I send something different. And... Um, where do you get the host code, you might ask? Well, that one is out of my blog at creatingwithali.com. And also, and I'll put the link in the description of this video as well with all the items that I use on this card. So thank you so much for joining me. And let me know, would you like most sending cars or making treat boxes for Halloween? How about this one? Again, there's a video on how to make this one as well as the other card that I showed before. Here's another one. And like I said, I am in love with the science series paper. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon.